Hi, welcome to a drop of Excel. Before you continue to learn further, let's understand the data set that we are going to use in all these examples, in all the videos. So this is a list of fitness equipments. That is what this store is selling. So first sheet is called SKU master, basically the product master. This is the list of products. This is the current inventory in hand. This is the cost price at which the store buys this product. And this is the sell price at which it sells the product. As simple as that. So this is a product master. Next sheet is a city master where you see cities of India and USA with each of them having a city code. Similarly, here in the product master also, there is a product code called the SKU ID. So this is a product code. This is a city code. Then comes the customer data. Similarly, every customer also has a code. This is the name of the customer, the gender, the date of birth and in which city he or she is. So if Rajiv Nair is C14, it means he is from Nasik city in India. Simple. Then comes the sales data. So this is the actual sales that happened. So this is the bill ID. That's the order ID or the invoice ID. So every order can have multiple rows because some customer can come in and buy three products at a time. Hence, there are three rows with the same bill ID, the same customer ID, obviously, and what all product he or she bought. What was the date on which he or she bought? So this is one year worth of data. So this is bill ID one buying product eight and the customer is 101696. So if the product is eight, it means this is a crossover symmetry. And because the customer is 101696, I'll control F 101696. Oops, sorry. I'll control. I'll control F 101696. And that is Harold Butler. That was the customer who bought this particular product on 1st April and so on. The last sheet is called sales data all columns. So what I have done is the way I showed you how to reference each sheet. I have referenced those sheets and put all the data into one single sheet. So from the customer ID, I got the customer name. From the SKU ID, I got the SKU name. Similarly, the other columns as well, right? So how to create this also we are going to learn when we learn VLOOKUP. So don't worry about that. But this is basically the data structure that we are going to use in all the videos to learn. Go ahead, continue learning video two.